So far, I have put the key in the ignition. I've connected up the VCI cable right down there. So there's the steering wheel. There's the connection down by my left foot. I have uh, the TIS TechStream open, and I have a list of instructions from watching a video on YouTube. Um, I've opened it up. I've opened up TIS TechStream, and then I clicked on Connect to Vehicle. And at first it didn't work, but I had the key on ACC and not uh, not on. And now I have it on on, and it seems to be working. It, it picked up that I have a Toyota, Prius C, 2013, I don't know what this is, option. I do not have a smart key. I do have a wireless key, but it's not the same thing as a smart key. The smart key is a thing where you can press a button and turn the car on. I don't have that. And so I'll click that, I'll click next. And let's see what happens. Maximize this. Oh, I can't do that right now. Okay, fine. S303-31. I don't know what that means. Seems to be... Well, it's done some communication, at least. I tried hitting the connect to vehicle when it wasn't... When there was no cable plugged in at all. Hey, it seems to seems to be working. Cool. Uh, so now I'm going to go to. Uh, so I tried connecting it when it when or hitting the connect to vehicle when there was no cable plugged in, and it didn't have that information filled out. Okay. So now that I've done that, I will go to. I've selected no start no s smart key. Um. Now I'm going to go to main body ECU. See here, it says main body right there. I think I think I just click on it. Oh no! Maybe double click. Hey. Okay. So double click. Ah, that's cool. Now, over on the left-hand side, it says sidebar utility, so I'll click on that. Aha, wireless code registration, wireless code erasure, wireless door lock diagnosis mode. Okay, so I'm going to go to wireless code erasure, and I'm going to double-click that. And it should tell me how many keys I have. So this says, welcome to the wireless code key, wireless code erasure wizard. Please confirm ignition is on, um, but the car is not started. Wait at least 30 seconds after IG on before clicking next. Driver's side door is opened and others are closed. True. Driver's side door is unlocked. True. Will fail if time limit is uh, exceeded. That's fine. Number of remotes currently registered, two. That's bad, because one of those is lost. I, don't, I have the only remaining one right now. Um, from the dealer. And I have several more that I bought from the internet, and we're going to find out whether or not those work. But first, we're going to make sure that this key that I have in the ignition right now is the only one that can open the car. So I'll click Next. On the remote transmitter, push lock and unlock simultaneously for one second. Within three seconds, press either the lock or the unlock button again for one second. I think I will need both hands to do that because the middle finger on my left hand is kind of broken and holding a camera and pressing those buttons is difficult anyway. All right, here goes. So I'm going to have to set the camera down. Let's see. Can I... Hmm. Can I press both? Well, maybe I can press both at the same time. I will turn on the flashlight and give that a shot. Okay, here goes. 
Next. Okay. Pressing both, letting go, pressing unlock. Wireless code erasure is complete. Awesome. Exit. Okay. Now, wireless code registration. I'm going to double click on that and try to register the new keys. Ignition is on, wait at least 30 seconds, driver's side door, so the same, same conditions as before, make sure that all these things are true. Um, ignition is on, wait 30 seconds before, after IG on, before clicking next. Driver's side door is opened, other doors are closed, driver's side door is unlocked. Registration process will fail if the time limit is exceeded at, at any step. Okay, so I click next. Remaining number of remotes that can be registered, four. Number of remotes currently registered, one. Yay, one. That means the one that I just registered is the only one registered. Now I'm grabbing a key from the internet that has no FCC thing on the backside. Um, that worried me at first, but apparently that's normal. Uh, so I'll click next. On the next screen, you will have to perform the following operations within 30 seconds. On the unlock transmitter, push lock and unlock simultaneously for one second. Within three seconds, press either the lock or the unlock button again for one second. So I'm going to do all that in my hand. Let's see if I can do it. Next, remaining 30 seconds. Uh, lock and unlock. Let go. Unlock. Let go. Wireless key registration is complete. Uh, press next to register another key or press exit to exit this function. That is pretty good. I'll try to get the other key out. I am pleasantly surprised that this is going so well. Um, just a second, I'm going to have to set this down. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. The key is in a white plastic, or is in a plastic bag, and that makes it a little difficult to open with one hand. Okay, so there we go again. Hopefully, I picked that up in the same orientation. I think I did. All right, so clicking next. Um, same same wizard as before. Make sure that all these conditions are met. Next. Uh, remaining number of remotes that can be registered, three. Current number of remotes registered, two. That's good, because those are the two that I just did. Click Next. Lock and unlock simultaneously for one second, then unlock for one second. Next. Lock and unlock simultaneously for one second. Unlock. Lock for one second. And then let go. Maybe that one didn't work. All right, I'll try it again. Lock and unlock simultaneously for one second. Let go. Lock for one second. Maybe it's taking too long. One locomotive. Uh oh. All right. So this one seems to not be working. I will try again. Oh, for three seconds. Let's see. Some vehicles may require pressing the lock and unlock for three seconds. Do you want to try again? Sure, try again. <sighs> yes, all those conditions are true. Okay, the right number of keys. All right, press lock and unlock simultaneously. Within three seconds, press the lock or unlock for one second. Next. Two. There we go. Oh my gosh. Um... Registration complete, and exit. Now I will go to wireless door lock uh, diagnosis mode. Do, 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 do. All right. Um, functions used to identify the following conditions. If a wireless remote is currently registered, if the vehicle is receiving signal from the wireless remote, uh, click, uh, press next to proceed. Next. Whoa. Had the lights went off. They were on before those lights, those overhead lights. Anyway, press either the lock or the unlock button on the wireless remote 
then use the information below to check the remote status. So this is the one, the last one that I registered. I'm going to click unlock. Um, oh, okay. So, um, let's see. It says, uh, press either the lock or unlock button on the wireless remote. Then use the information below to check the, in the remote status. Intermittent beep. Wireless remote is currently registered. Continuous beep. Wireless remote is not registered. No beep. Vehicle may not be receiving signal from the remote. The remote is being used may not be compatible with the vehicle. Um, I think instead of beeping, the overhead lights are just flashing on and off, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so that's, that's that key. Um, I'll test the key in the ignition now. Press the unlock button. And yeah, it's flashing. I'll turn off the the camera, uh, the camera's light, and then I will press the lock unlock button and point the camera at the lights so you guys can see what's going on. So I press and hold, and it blinks like that. I let go. So that's pretty awesome. Everything appears to be working. And then the one last key that I programmed second. Oh no, where did I put it? <laughs> um, oh, there it is. It is in there. It's just hard to get. Okay. Alright, here it goes. Unlock. And that is again going... Oh, you can still see it even with a light on. That's good. Okay, so uh, it seems like everything's good. Now all I need to do is get these cut and they will be usable keys. That's awesome. Thanks, internet and research. So, click exit. And what does this button do? Next? No. System select. Not exactly sure what I want to do. Maybe main menu. <laughs> I want to try and exit cleanly. Uh, open the scan. Log out. Log out sounds good. Log out. Generic OBD2. You have been logged out successfully. Okay. Uh, file exit text stream. Okay. Let's check and see if it works for realsies. I'm going to take this key out of the ignition. Make sure the original key still works. Wait, I don't need to be outside the car to do this. Just in case. Alright, I'm gonna hit the lock button. Unlock. That works. So that's with the cut key, the original key. Now I'm gonna try this new one. <laughs> yes! Unlock. Yes! And this one. Lock. Yes! Unlock. The Two unlocking is the first one's for the driver's side door, and then the second one is for everything else. Awesome! So it works.